Hello guys, welcome back to episode 6 of uh, my Guild Wars 2 Zero to Hero. In the last episode, we finally reached level 80. And uh, right now, I'm gonna do what every player needs to do when they reach this level. So, join me. So guys, right now, I'm uh, in uh, Lion's Arch. And I'm gonna tell you the first steps you need to do when you reach level 80. Uh, the first step is uh, I need to get this naked salad. Thumb gear. <clears throat> and uh, guys, when you want to gear up your character when you get to 80, do not, and I repeat, do not gear up your character from the trading post. Do not do it. You're going to waste a lot of gold over nothing. The first thing you need to do uh, when you want to get up your character Go to world vs world This icon here And go to one of your uh, One of the points here And then look for uh, this golem Yeah, this one <clears throat> uh, Here this golem is gonna sell uh, stat selectable gear for you They're cheap and you can uh, select the gear any gear you want uh, But They uh, he gonna like ask you for some badges of honor Which is easily obtainable in uh, world vs world by just following uh, a commander and doing some objectives or like by dailies or the world vs. world weeklies here. Like, uh, capture, uh, capture camps, capture keeps. Uh, you don't even, like, um, you don't even need to PvP to get some uh, badges of honor. They're, like, pretty easy to do. On my main, I have, like, over 10,000 and I don't even touch uh, world vs. world often. Anyway. I need some, um... I need to get some uh, trinkets. Uh, one amulet. Two rings. Um, two accessories. And a uh, backpack. I'm not gonna pick up the armor. Since I have armor from the wizard's vault. <clears throat> I uh, grinded weeklies. And special stuff. Like mostly weeklies and dailies. Uh, to get myself these. On the previous season cause the... The new season just landed like a week ago. We are on the new season. That means I got... The armor boxes here ascended from armor boxes from uh, the previous season, and now I have or I have the ability to craft uh, or like take a new armor box, like three armor boxes. That means I'm fully geared with ascended, just cause I I was doing weeklies and dailies from the wizard's vault. Also, I can buy the ascended weapon chest here. So yeah, let's uh, equip our stuff. I think I did an oopsie. Oh, not, not. I'm okay. And uh, for this character, I'm gonna go with the Celestial Gear. Uh, celestial Gear is the... The balance. Balance is weakness. Of Guild Wars 2. The balance stat. It have everything equal. Because um, I don't want to get stuck with the uh, power damage or like condition damage. And uh, like as a Nelly, it's kind of um, weak in open world and not tanky like the Necromancer or Reaper. So I need uh, that healing, I, I need uh, the, that vitality, I need that toughness, I need everything here, equally. 
So I'm gonna go with uh, Celestial Gear. Also, Celestial Gear is really famous in uh, World vs. World. And I'm gonna be doing that anyway. And the uh, most open world builds uh, go Celestial Gear. Nice. We have our first level 80 trinkets. And uh, by the way guys, I didn't uh, even do World vs. World on this account. I didn't do it. I actually got the badges of honor from... Um, from the achievement box of level um, here with uh, 1,000 uh, 1,500 they give you badges of honor on those two boxes so you don't even need to do a world versus world to get your um, trinkets but for armor you might grind a bit like uh, one hour or ha even half an hour and you can get your armor and like uh, weapons I'm gonna go now and get my uh, armor boxes from here. We got five here. And I'm gonna buy a new armor box. This one. Okay, good. Uh, which one is Celestial? Uh, some of the Celestial. Oh, okay, the first one. Make sure to like choose the the things that you need. Like check what is ra like carrion, what is rabid, what is dire. <clears throat> uh, celestial is a uh, wap wap. I gotta be careful to choose the the right one. Leggings. That's it. Okay. Okay, now we're no longer naked, guys. Nice, you see? We're no longer naked. Awesome. Let's get out of here. So, wanna know why I told you not to uh, give up from the TP? For example, let's uh, search up celestial gear. See? One of the gears is like 12 gold. Just a piece for that for just a piece. 12 gold and they're fucking exotic. So do not do it. Do not get up from the trading post. Go to World of Zero, like I told you, and select your gear. And uh, by the way, this change is new. It's very recent. Like uh, ArenaNet just implemented it. And it's kinda the best thing that happened in that update. Because uh, right now uh New players can gear up without uh, breaking their gold over nothing, and they can learn some uh, new like, and they can learn some world versus world while they're at it. Right now, I need uh, a weapon, two weapons. I don't want a rock uh, staff yet. Okay, I have a weapon here. Weapon, bo weapon box. Uh, wap wap. Uh, I'm gonna choose scepter for now. Scepter, scepter, one, one, the uh, violet. Scepter, yeah. This one. Nice. Let me get rid of the old stuff. And, uh, I need a dagger, too. Uh, I'll keep this for now. And I need to grind... ...some wizard vault. Like, uh, I need to grind, uh, to reach 600. I can do some, uh, dailies. Dodge the enemies, press an activity, perform the combo skills in combat. View vista and heart of Magoma. I'll quickly do an activity to do that. And right now it's my favorite, the crab toss. So we finished uh, two dailies. And uh, we got enough astral claim to buy the second weapon. The weapon box ascended. There we go. 
Let's choose, choose it. Celestial. Dagger. Razor dagger. Okay. Bad one. There you go. Offhand. Awesome. Let's salvage the rest. Uh, now two runes and uh, relic and sigils. I need to do all that. It's gonna highly depend on my build. But I think I'm gonna go with the uh, rune of the trapper. So we buy the recipe for rune of the trapper. And come here to the Talion station and uh, if you have the, the ingredients, just craft uh, 6. Or just buy the ingredients and craft what you need. Also you can craft 7 if you have um, an underwater piece, that's good, we'll get the ascended one. Or exotic one if you have it. But we're gonna ignore it for now, because we don't have an ascended uh, aquatic gear. And uh, in aquatic gear, it replaces when you're in water, it replaces the the headgear. That means that you get the stats from the aquatic gear instead of the headgear. That's why we need uh, a rune for the aquatic gear too. So I'm gonna buy the mats now. I could have uh, made a buy order, but that's fine. So now we got all, all our mats, and we're gonna craft the runes. The rune of the trapper. You don't need to craft this exact rune, guys. This is my build, and uh, I'm gonna use this rune. Use whatever rune you want, or like if you find a nice build out there, use any build. You can buy from DTP or craft if you if it's craftable. I'm gonna use it on the gear. There we go. Now we all ruined up. I gotta think of uh, what should I uh, get for the sigils. Uh, for scepter, I think I'm gonna go with the. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the Sigil of Strength on the Scepter. Mm, by order. Alright, I'm gonna get my uh, Sigils. I went with uh, Sigil of Strength for the Scepter to uh, gain Might. Stacks of Might. And also, I need to uh, craft Sigil of Cleansing. But looks like I'm gonna need to uh, level up uh, Weaponsmithing. Uh, if I wanna craft Sigil of Cleansing. I wanted to go with the Sigil of Cleansing because it uh, cleanses three uh, conditions. Whenever you swap weapons. And um, on Elementalist, when you swap uh, elements, it's considered as the swapping weapons. That means I'm gonna have uh, my condition cleansed uh, most of the time. Uh, but what should I get now? Uh, dagger. I don't know. I don't know what, sh what sigil, what other sigil I should get. Uh, exotic. Okay. Ice, no, air, no, quickness, no, fire, no, digital of luck, maybe, uh, earth, if like bleeding uh, upon critical, okay, okay, I'm gonna get the uh, sigil of earth, that seems okay, 
the okay good as for relic i don't know what should i get uh most of the bills are relic um, of the fractal which is the uh, kind of hard to get i need some uh currencies for example uh world versus world currencies Uh, but let's see uh, what digital we can get. Uh, convert up the condition to boons. Firebrand, uh, no. Weaver, no. Uh, blind bear, no. Herald. Crate. After using uh, the light skill, emit a wave of corruption that afflicts damaged conditions. Okay, maybe. Let's see if the dungeon. Uh, dungeon NPC have something good. Do dungeon NPCs the sell uh, relics? I don't know. Where is it? Uh, it's around here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, weapons. Blah, blah, blah. No, they don't. They don't sell relics. I'll get that relic of crate for now until I get the, the relic of the fractal. Uh, relic. Okay, relic of the. No, no crate. Thief. Uh, strike. Claw. Crate. Okay, crate. Inflicts damaging condition. Okay, this seems fine. Uh, I'll uh, buy order. Uh, I have a bad flu. I need some cleansing. Anyway, that's it uh, for the gear. I have uh, my runes. I have my uh, trinkets. I have my weapons and sigils for now. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is get a aqua breather quick and for that I need to go to world vs world and do some stuff and buy it from there so I decided to do this uh, five ruins uh, weekly I need to basically go to these five ruins and uh, just stay there for like one minute and get them all. Uh, it's the easiest one to do. Uh, as you saw, I was kicking ass uh, in BVP and World vs. World. Uh, some people jumped me and I defeated them. I'm not even good at Ellie, but this build is actually good. It's tanky, it have good damage and the healing. Oh yeah. Uh, anyway, I got the 40 um, badges of honor and... Uh, I'm gonna buy the aquatic gear and right now I'm not gonna do uh, the same mistake that's the cloth one you get the cloth one uh, that mistake costed me uh, 20 minutes of my time uh, okay celestial perfect I'm a completionist so uh, I always uh, want everything to be perfect so that's it guys for this episode uh, we geared up our character uh, next episode we wanna make them uh, make him more fashionable also I need to uh, get the weavers back and uh, get some masteries especially the central interior ones 
and uh, also I'm gonna do an achievement which gives you uh, a free uh, bags like a uh, 20 slot bag and uh, there's two actually there's two easy achievements you can do and get uh, two bag slots also I'm gonna do the um, the new achievement they're doing now like it ends in uh, 11 days which gives you a 20 slot bag because uh, uh, some of my bags are on 20 and I need the bag space look at my my bag it's horrible so yeah uh, if you enjoyed this episode like the video comment uh, anything you want and subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, thank you all for all your support I love you guys and I'll see you next time